Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome back to a new tutorial. Well, uh, we're going to start off in Maya today, but we're going to end up in 3D code. And the reason for that is that I want to show you guys how easy it is to automatically UV something in 3D code. So this is a model I did a while back in uh, Maya. And if we hit 4 for wireframe mode, you can kind of see that this is it. And if you want to UV something like this in, um, in Maya, it might take a while, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it into 3D code and do it there. And before we do that, I'll go up to UV and UV editor just to show you that there is no UV at this time, right? So we're gonna export this guy, go to file, export selection, and I'll see you guys in 3D code. Okay guys, well, as you can see, we're in 3D code and it's time to bring in our model. Now, there are several ways of UVing in uh, 3D code, and just to not make things uh, overcomplicated, we're going to keep it simple, yeah? So in this opening window, you have the option to click on UV Map Mesh. That's not what we're going to do now. We're going to click that away. We're going to go to File. We're going to go to Import. We're going to go to Model uh, for Per Pixel Painting. So basically bring in a model because we want to hand paint it or apply smart materials to it, that kind of thing, yeah? Click on it. It's gonna ask us to identify where the model is at, which is on my desktop and they have it and we're gonna click on open. Now, it's gonna say that the square of UV set is too big, blah, blah, blah. Well, one of the reasons is that it's not UV'd at all because it's coming out of Maya and as I showed you, it doesn't have a proper UV. That's identified by 3D code and it says, well, it's incorrect or tile too much. It may lead to a long load time, blah, blah, blah. We recommend that you auto map. Okay, well, that's exactly why we're here. So let's click on okay. We get a couple of questions. What do you want? Well, first of all, I want the software preset for normal maps uh, to be based on Maya 2015 or higher because that's where my model is coming from. You can select 3ds Max, Blender, Unity, Substance Painter, all that stuff, but mine is mine. Initial subdivision, gonna leave that alone. UV map typing, I want to auto map, so not keep UV. Let's say I had a UV in Maya and I wanna keep it, but no, I want uh, 3D code to do it for me. No smoothing, we leave that alone. Leave all of this alone. The Lambert, we're gonna change that to the name, call it cabinet and then the size with the map 2k so 2k 2k and click on okay it's going to bring in our cabinet <clears throat> it's going to try to auto map and pack the uv and here's our cabinet now you're probably wondering did it uv it or not well let's jump to the uv room up here and you can see that here is a preview of the uv and here is our model with the uv on it now, there are tons of ways to adjust this. You can add seams manually. You can ask the system to create your UV based on that. We're not gonna do all of that. I'm just gonna show you a couple of things though, right? First of all, we're gonna unwrap. So if you click on unwrap, it says fit all islands onto the UV map, right? Now they're already on there, but let's see if that makes a difference. I'm just keeping an eye on the UV preview. And that's kind of an optimization, right? So it's straightening a couple of things out. It's putting it in nicely in position and it looks a lot cleaner. Now, auto map, we already did that. Uh, packing the UV, um, that is to create a set of clusters. Um, it's not gonna do the unwrap, but we already did that. So you can do that. You can shuffle and pack if you like. Auto scale, that is something I typically do. Uh, for uh, the reason that sometimes certain items show bigger on your UV set than they are in reality compared to other components. And as you can see, it made a difference. So basically, you now have a UV model, which is super, super handy and super quick. And again, there are tons and tons of options to manipulate this, change it and whatnot. But if you want to keep things super simple, this is what you can do. Hi well, guys, that's all I wanted to share with you guys today in this video. Like I said, a very simple approach. I'll be uh, covering this stuff in more detail in later videos, but uh, at least you can get started, right? Thank you for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I'd love to see you guys again. Bye.